Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add dynamic URLs to your call to actions with Divi and ACF. This is the final result for Emmy to achieve. So, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So, the very first thing we're going to do here is to install the advanced custom field plugin. So, I'm going to come over here to plugins and click on add new. So over here, I'm going to click on search and I'm going to search for advanced custom fields. Now, this plugin is absolutely free. So we'll go ahead and download it. As you can see, it's been downloaded by over a million people. So this is a very, very solid plugin. So I'm going to click here on install now. So this is going to take a bit of time to install. But uh, once installed, uh, it is very, very easy to set up and it is fantastic. So I'm going to click update and then once updated, the next step now is to take a look and see where that entry has been added on our website. So if I take a look here over here on the left, you can see it says custom field. This is where we need to go to to add our field. So I'm going to click here on add new. So the field name or the field group that, that we need to create here is going to be called dynamic URLs. So just name it. Okay. All right, so the next stage or the next thing that we need to set up here is over here on the rules, on the location. So you need to make sure you assign your post type here equal to post. Then we also need to add another one. And this one here, po uh, post type is equal to, this needs to be set to page. And then we need to add one more. And post type is equal to, let's set this to project. All right, so now that we have all this set, this is looking good. I'm just going to make sure I publish this, okay? Now that we've published that, we've uh, assigned all our post types. I'm just gonna come over here to the settings and just make sure active is set to yes over here. And then the next step now is to add different URL fields to our default site. So the links that we need to add or the URLs are going to be the landing page, the contact page, and the members area. So I just want to make sure I have these pages installed. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab and add a new page. Or rather, I just need to go in and see what pages I have here so that my dynamic URLs will work. So the first one we need is just the DV landing page. So as you can see here, we don't have DV landing page. So I'm just going to add new. And by the way, in your case, you can add your dynamic URLs to go to whatever page that you need. Right, so here I'm just going to add a new page and call this Divi landing page. Okay, I'm going to publish that. And the next page is going to be the contact page, which I think I already have. So let's go and check by coming back over here and contact. No, we don't have a contact page. So let's add another one. So we're going to call this contact, publish it one more time. And then the final one is going to be members area. Okay, so now that that is published, I'm going to go back over here, click add new, and this one needs to be called members area. Okay, so pretty much these are my three pages that I need to work with. All right, so the next step now is to come back over here to our site and start adding all our fields. So I'm going to click here on, in fact, let me just update this for now. I'm going to click here on add field. So field label, this is where you add your URL, Divi landing page, okay? And then if you just click anywhere in here, which says field name, this will just automatically fill in. And then next on the field type, this is going to be a URL. So let's click on this drop down and select URL. Now I don't need to add anything on the instructions. And uh, we need, also need to now add the actual page here on the default value, okay? So this is where we, come back over here and look for our pages. So the first one here is the DV landing page. So I'm just gonna open this in a new tab so I can just get the URL. And this is the URL. So I'm gonna copy that back over here. I'm just gonna paste my default value like that. Okay, so now that we have this, we need to continue on and add the other pages for our pages. So we're just gonna hit update here and we need to add another field. So I can see here I have one which has no label. Let's just delete that because we don't want to get confused here. So this is my first one, the Divi landing page. Let's add another one. Now this one here is going to be the contact page and it's a URL. So I'm just going to say URL contact page. 
Okay, next I'm just going to click in this area here and this has given us our field name, single word. And this is going to be a URL as well. So I'm just going to make sure I set the right uh, field type. And then over here on the default value, we just need to make sure we get the contact. Okay, so this is our page. I'm going to copy that URL back over here. I'm going to paste my value. Okay, so next we need to add our final one. And I'm just going to click here on add field. And this one here is the URL for members area. So again, I'm going to give this the, the label. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to click in this area again. And this is a URL. So make sure this part here is very important, the field type. Okay, so moving on, we need to add the default value. So again, we need the members area URL. So I just want to make sure I have the right URL here. And there it is. Okay, so now that I have the URL, the final part here is to just enter my URL. And pretty much that's all I need. So I'm going to come over here and click update. So you may be thinking, well, now that we've added all these dynamic URLs, where are they? So next time you add a brand new page, you're going to see those URLs. So if I click here on add new, and uh, let's say this is just a test page. So I'm just going to call this test. If I scroll down, do you notice now we have these dynamic URLs that we've just added? So we have the... Uh, DV landing page, the contact page, and the members area. So this is what our plugin has added to our custom post types. All right, so let's put this to practice now. So here I have this test page. So if you wanted to use these URLs in a dynamic way, we need to be using here our DV Builder. So we're going to click here on Use DV Builder. And then we're going to go in and set our pages. So the very first example I'm going to use is just a landing page from our pre-made layouts here. So I want to go through a long process of just showing you how to add these dynamic links onto our buttons. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to this SEO agency layout pack. Now this is the landing page. So I'm going to click here on use this layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to a button. So instead of adding all my uh, URLs manually, uh, we're going to use our dynamic links now with the advanced custom fields in order to achieve that. And this is a really, really cool way of uh, using dynamic links. So once this has been loaded, I'm going to show you how this can be added onto it. Okay, so we have our landing page here. So what I will do here is I'll go into my module settings. And then you notice here that we have this button which says learn more. Now that button needs a link. So what we're going to do is we are going to come over here to link. And then for the button URL, we can now click here on this little icon, which is showing our dynamic links. And if you notice here, we have a Divi landing page, which is which was created by advanced custom fields. So I can just add that and my dynamic link has been added. And this is how we use dynamic links. So if I wanted to link this to another page, we can just come over here and maybe link this to the members area, for example. So you would need to create your pages first and link them first. And then this is how you would add them onto this. Now, of course, you may be thinking, well, I, why can't I just add the link in here? Isn't that a long process? Now, where the power of this comes is when you go in and then use your theme builder, because you can actually go into the theme builder and use dynamics links in there, which can be applied to pretty much all your page templates. So let us exit here and go to our theme builder. Okay, so uh, we're going to come back over here and go all the way down to Divi Theme Builder. Right, so let's say we want to add a blog template or we need to add a page which has, say, a subscription on the bottom or a call to action on the bottom of every single page. So what you'll do is you just come over here, click on this plus button and uh, let's go to all posts. We're going to create a template for all our posts. And then all you have to do is to come over here to add custom body, build custom body. So we can also use, say, a pre-made layout here just to make things faster. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm going to choose a template which has a call to action. So let's take a look here and see where we have um, a call to action. In fact, you know what? Let's, let's choose the uh, layout that we've just uh, used a moment ago. So we're going to come over here. And we're just going to look for an email opt-in. Okay, so we can we have this part here. So let's use this layout and use that section which has a call to action. 
All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of everything first because we are not going to be using all the content on this page or on this template. So once this uh, loads up, we're going to go in and remove all the sections that we don't need. So let's start off by getting rid of this top one here. And, uh, pretty much we're going to go through and get rid of everything except our call to action. Okay, this we don't need as well. That can go. Okay, so we want this part which says let's work together. So everything here can go. That. And we also have, in fact, we can leave that as it is. And then we don't need this address as well. Okay, so here we go. So this is the part that I'm interested in to add onto our page. So what I can do now is I can go into my module settings and then for our get in touch a get in touch button we're going to link that to our contact page so over here for our button url we're going to go into dynamic content and we're going to add url contact page there we go so that has been linked now now i can save this and if i further need to customize this page make it look amazing i can go in and start adding even more content but because this is a template this is going to be applied pretty much to all my blog posts and it's going to be at the bottom of all our blog posts. So this is how you use advanced custom fields to create dynamic links. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.